So next up, we're going to look at spheres. And of course, before we should talk about spheres, we should do a quick recap on circles, which are the two-dimensional analog. So just as a quick reminder, when we have a circle in the xy plane, and we want to give the equation describing that circle, There are sort of two quantities that you need to know to describe a circle, right? Um, two bits of data. One is the center of the circle. So that's going to be a point with coordinates A, B. And the other is the radius, right? And the radius is just the distance from the center to any point on the circle because the defining property of a circle is that that distance is constant, right? So the radius is some number r, giving that distance there. And if this point here has coordinates, let's say x, y, well, using the distance formula, we know that r is now the distance between those two points. And so the distance formula tells us that r will be the square root of, well, first the difference between the x-coordinates, x minus a, squared, and then the difference between the y-coordinates, so y minus b, and squared, okay? Or, um, often we prefer to write this without the square root, so we write it as x minus a squared, plus y minus b squared equals r squared. And that's typically the nicest form for the equation of a circle because all the information that you need to plot the circle is sitting right there staring at you. Right? Okay, so now we move on to spheres in three dimensions. And we realize that it's really just the same story, right? We just move up a dimension. We establish the distance formula, and so we're, we're doing basically exactly the same thing. So now we have some sphere in three-dimensional space. Um, so to make it look spherical, sort of draw, draw yourself an equator, a dashed line going around behind. Looks spherish to me. It's not perfect, but what can you do? Okay, so now that sphere has a center and it has coordinates, let's say, A, B, C, right? Because we're in three dimensions now. And some point on the surface of the sphere, let's say X, Y, Z will be there. And the defining property of a sphere is it's the set of all points in three dimensions that are some fixed distance from the center, right? And again, we refer to that as the radius. Right? So there's our radius R. And again, what the distance formula tells us is that that distance r right, is given by the square root of x minus a squared, difference in the x coordinates, y minus b squared for the y coordinates, and this time we also have to include the z coordinates, so z minus c squared. Um, and often, just like we do in two dimensions, we might prefer to square, oops, square both sides of that equation. x minus a, all squared. y minus b, all squared. z minus c, all squared is equal to r squared, okay? So that's sort of the standard formula for a sphere in three dimensions, giving you the center at A, B, C, and the radius of R, giving you the location and size of the sphere.